beautiful people you welcome back to our channel that the freeze daily momodu and others have reacted to the silence of the christian association of nigeria over the death of prophet tb joshua as many people have raised concern over the silence of the khan people have also says prophet tb joshua is a different person entirely and they say his prophet Timothy Joshua may be dead, but he still lives in the hearts of many who felt his impact while he was alive. The man of God who breathed his last on Saturday, June 5, was not just a cleric, he was also a philanthropist that gave it to widows and the less privileged. As it was seen, an old video surfaced online showing the man of God playing American football with his church members. As the photo and video emerged on social media in which Prophet T.B. Joshua proved that he was not just a man of God but also a man of the people. That the priest therefore urges and encouraged Nigerian pastors to offer condolence messages to the family and congregation of the late T.B. Joshua. As Nigerians and the congregation and members of the televangelist TB Joshua still mourning him, Ovation International Publisher Dele Momodu questioned why the Christian community in Nigeria have not publicly condoled with the family or paid tribute to the late pastor. OAP Freeze has also spoken up advising Nigerian pastors to send a condolence message to T.B. Joshua's family. He says, Dear nation, dear Nigerian top Jews, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you offered a condolence message to T.B. Joshua's congregation and to his family. Tia Banja with Ikakoko. That is, if you are fighting, is not to wish one state, if I'm correct in my translation. Then he added, I come in peace. Let's live in love. Even if we disagree, let's disagree in love. Do everything in love. Also, Dele Momodo shares, even till death, no word, seriously, no word from the Christian community in Nigeria regarding the death of T.B. Joshua. Even in death, he is still hated. And he captioned, does he really need any validation? All souls will die. Clergyman Okotie, Chris Okotie, also shared a cryptic post on his Facebook page this morning in which he, referred, he referenced a certain wizard of Edno who assumed the title of Emmanuel. In his post, the clergyman said the wizard who assumed the title of Emmanuel had been consumed by divine ignition. His post comes days after clergyman T.B. Joshua who is known for using the name Emmanuel in his church doubt. Okotie's post read, Hebrew 113, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your first two. Upopodion slash Greek. The wizard at Endor who assumed the title Emmanuel has been consumed by divine ignition, and now his disciples bewail his ignominious exit. No marvel, one third of God's angels follow the disgraced anointed cherub Lucifer. The over Jesus, a mighty gladiator has broken the head of the dragon with his mighty blows. He has descended from the mountain of spices with the fury sword of his ignition. Glorious is his apparel and traveling in the greatness of his strength. He goes conquering and conquer the adversaries of his church. Let those who swear by the Lord and by Malcham and the descendants of Hama now tremble in fear. The day of the vengeance of our God has fully come to Nigeria, and they shall not escape. Operation Upopodion Fustu has commenced. More power to you, Reverend Chris Okoti. And many have reacted as to why the Nigerian pastors or Khan has not 
save anything about the death of TV Joshua since the day it passed on. Here are some reactions. <laughs>